Today on Tri Curl Studios, we continue to test out my new home studio with my 2013 Gibson Les Paul Studio in Vintage Sunburst, playing some metal, three different amp heads, and three different drop tunings. All right, same drill as usual. Um, it's just something I've been trying to get myself in to uh, push myself to record more and shoot more videos in my new home studio. Uh, this is my latest guitar that I picked up. This is the Gibson Les Paul Studio from 2013. Uh, it was made in 2012, however stamped as a 2013. Basically the vintage sunburst um, was a color in 2012 and in 2013. They discontinued a whole bunch of the 2012 colors going into 2013, so this one here was just after the announcement of the 2013s. Uh, this is similar to the current lineup of uh, Les Paul Studios, as it's a mahogany body, mahogany neck, maple top, uh, and it has the 498T and 490R, and also has the push pulls. Um, Differences being that this has a Granadillo fretboard, although you really can't notice it on this one. Uh, unless you're oiling it, then you kind of notice it a little more. Um, and this has the uh, Klusen tuners rather than the Grovers. And it is also a modern weight relief rather than the newer ultra modern. So it's not as light. Um, still rather light, but not too, too light. It's it's really good guitar, actually. Um, so yeah, we've got three different amp heads, three different drop tunings. So drop C, drop B, and then drop A sharp. Usual questions that I get, what are what gauge strings am I using? It'd be 10 to 46. And did you have any trouble getting it into drop A sharp? I did not whatsoever. Um, again, you know, when you're tuning, you're doing any tuning at all, especially drop tuning, after you tune individual strings, you wanna tug on your strings and then retune, tug on your strings again, then retune. Then it'll stay in tune, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of bending.
All right, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're curious on this guitar, like if it's this is something that's come up for sale, um, I'd highly recommend it. I don't know if maybe this is just a magic one, because uh, sometimes you do get those. But uh, this one here is phenomenal. Um, I really love the sunburst kind of effect that they have, where it's just like natural, then black, and then going back to natural. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And looking up at the next video coming up, uh, unless one of my three amp heads actually comes in stock and uh, comes to me and delivered to me, this will be my next video, which is the uh, Gibson SG Standard Limited from 2011. Uh, it may look like it is a, an ebony guitar, but it is just an aged cherry, so it's kind of hard to see the red there. Uh, and it also has 498R T and 490R.